is Di from Bags for Bubbles, and I have a little bit of a shopping haul for you guys today. It's just a couple bags. I went shopping with one of my girlfriends from college, and I thought I would share it real quick in a haul. We also have a meetup coming up at the end of September, so I wanted to save back and do a little bit of shopping when we go on that shopping trip. And then also the Tory Burch Friends and Family sales going on right now, so... I have a lot of things on my wish list, we'll put it that way. But anyhow, I thought I would show you real quick what I picked up on this shopping trip. It's mainly like a Sephora haul with a couple clothing items mixed in. So first of all, at White House Black Market, they were having a great sale. It was 25% off of regular price items, and I found a couple of really cute things. And I was excited because I haven't really gotten anything from there since I was in the working world. So I just picked up a couple of cute things. I got this little polka dot shirt to um, put underneath cardigans. It's got some really great ruching detail across the stomach. So I got that, and that was on sale for $29. And this is the one regular price item that I got, and the regular price on it was $58, but it was 25% off, so I feel like it was a pretty good deal. And um, it's just a really cute kind of slouchy neck shirt. I thought this would be really cute underneath gray or purple or berry colored cardigans. So that's that shirt. It's kind of got a nice loose fit to it. And then I also found a couple of jewelry items that I loved and they put it in this little bag. And I absolutely fell in love with this necklace, this long necklace. I just loved it. It's got some bigger gems on there and then some smaller ones. And you know, I always I don't always like buying costume jewelry like this because you know, sometimes I don't have good luck with the gem stain in, but it seemed like it was pretty good quality. And it's been a while, if ever, that I've bought some jewelry from White House Black Market. But anyhow, it looks like it's pretty decent quality, and I really, really liked it to wear as a date night piece, so I got that. And all of the jewelry was buy one, get one half off, so I got these little earrings as well. And I absolutely love these. They're like little starburst with a gemstone in the middle and then little pink pearls around the outside. So I thought that those would be really cute for date night as well. So I found some good jewelry finds there. And they also had another shirt that I wanted to get, and I went home to order it because they didn't have my size in the store. And they literally had my size online, and then it dropped off as I was literally trying to check out. And so I haven't had good luck trying to get that. But anyways, <laughs> there are just a couple more things on my wish list from my house, Black Market. So then the other place that I stopped in was Charming Charlie's, and this is the place that I like to get a lot of my scarves. In fact, the scarf that I'm wearing right now is from Charming Charlie. So I stopped in with my friend, and she looks looking at the accessories there as well and I ended up getting one little um, little jewelry item which I don't normally get jewelry there but I thought that this little pearl set was really cute super cute it's like stretchy elastic and it's in the purples that I wear a lot for the fall so I thought this would be cute just to toss on just as a kind of like a quick you know like easy piece of jewelry to wear so I got that I also got one of these scarves in the kind of silverish tone. I have a lot of these. It's just kind of a really great basic, um, you know, longer scarf. And I use these a lot over sweaters. So I got this silver tone scarf because I wear a lot of gray in the winter. And I have a lot of colored sweaters like, you know, teals and plums and things like that. So I thought it'd be nice with that. And then I did get one infinity scarf that's like a sweater weight. And this one was $15, I believe, and it was sparkly. And my friend said that this one looked a lot more expensive than it was, so I ended up getting this one. Um, I like it. It has sparkles in it that are like a pink sparkle, and it seems pretty substantial. So I have pretty good luck with their scarves. So I really like their scarves, so I got those at this place, Charming Charlie. And then, really, the bulk of my haul was at Sephora. And even though this is a tiny little bag, don't let the tiny bag deceive you. I spent about $200 at Sephora. Somehow I can always find $200 worth of stuff to buy in that store. So first things first was a free thing. I got this Bare Minerals Best in Show and this has a little eyeshadow duo in it. It's got some lipstick in it and then it's got a beauty blush. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I also picked up this Fresh Soy Face Exfoliant. I saw this in the store. I don't think I've ever used this before but it's like a gritty texture. I've used something similar by Mario Bedicio I believe. And so I wanted to see, or CB Beauty actually, I used a full explain. It looked a lot like that. So I thought I would try this. It was a little pricey. It was 40 bucks. But, you know, it's so easy to grab things when you're in Sephora. So um, I got this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Sin. I like using this sometimes, especially in the fall and winter that already has a bit of pigmentation to it. 
I also got from Tarte the Lights Camera Splashes Waterproof Mascara. I really like the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, so I decided to try the Splashes Waterproof one. And I've been very into Tarte lately. I've been wanting to get more Tarte things, you know, more than what I even have. So I also picked up this Tarte Bamboo Air Foundation Brush. Brush, it's called the Buffer Air Brush Finish Bamboo Foundation Brush. That is a mouthful. But anyhow, it's really soft and, you know, it's very, very full. And I thought I would try this. I've been using the Tarte powder to set my makeup. And so I thought I would try this as, like, kind of a setting powder brush and just see what I thought. And I just, I like the look of it as well. So I got that. And then I had to get another Beauty Blender sponge. I got one in Orchid, which is, like, the purple color, like, not that long ago. But it doesn't seem to be lasting very long. It's, like, already starting to kind of come apart on the top. So I just went ahead and got another one of the traditional pink ones. And then two more little things down in here. I did get a replenishment of the Boxum Gloss in Trixie. And this is a really great kind of pinky, coral, rose gold tone. And I really, really like this one. I've been keeping it in my purse. It's about all gone, the one that I have in my purse. So I replenished that. And then just on a weird whim, I decided to get this Urban Decay Shadow in Mushroom, which is just a really great kind of graphite color, and I might actually keep that in my purse. So somehow, all of this stuff adds up to $200. <laughs> so it's like five items. <laughs> That's how Sephora is. So that was the main part of my haul that day. So I may not be getting very much at Sephora when I go on our meetup day because I don't really need anything at this point except for philosophy gel. And they apparently don't carry it in the Woodfield Sephora anymore. The last store we stopped past was Crate and Barrel and we were running in there for a registry. I wasn't planning on buying anything for myself. But I saw these cute little bowls and they were only $2.95. Yeah, I, it was two ninety five. They were really inexpensive, so I got a set of four of these. I am always looking for little dishes to set on the side of our plates that are, you know, to hold little salads and things like that, um, like fruit salads or cucumber avocado salads and things like that that we don't necessarily want on our dinner plates. And I thought that these would match our dinner plates really, really nicely. They're just a blue set from Target is what we use for every day. And I really liked these. I thought that they were really super cute. And I got a set of four of these for like 12, let's see what our receipt says, 12.88. That's not bad at all for four bowls. So I thought that those would work great for all those kinds of things that you don't really want on the main plate. So that is all for my kind of beginning of September shopping haul. I do have a number of things coming up that I'm planning on getting, you know, just kind of revamping my fall wardrobe and um, some things that I'm planning on doing and that sort of thing. The Tory Burch Friends and Family Sale is going on right now, the time that I'm filming this video, and I did get a code for that. You have to know an associate to get one, and I did get one. Yay! So I am planning on getting some things, and I think I'm going to definitely be getting the Leopard Rivas, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to be getting some bags or not. And then at the end of the month, we're doing our Louis Vuitton Handbag Enthusiast Meetup at Oak Brook. It's on Saturday the 27th at 11.30 a.m. So if you're available or you're around, go ahead and stop on by. But I have a feeling I'll probably be doing a bit of shopping that day as well, if for no other reason than peer pressure. I really want the little hot air balloon charm in the Damier with the pink. I'm imagining it'll probably be sold out by then. Uh, and I have not, just it never crosses my mind when I'm not filming or doing something else to call to try to order it. But I really want that from Louis Vuitton, and then uh, probably usually Henry Bendel, I always find something to buy there. Kate Spade I've been very into lately, so who knows what I'll end up after that Saturday. Who knows what I'll come home with. <laughs> so um, that is what's going on lately around here. Hopefully you guys are having a great beginning of fall where you are, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.